Hi and welcome back. I decided after all to do a swatch of the Stadler 72 twin tip pens. And um, there are swatches here on the box. Um, but I want one actually to put in my my swatch binder. I've kind of sorted them out in one, two, three, four, five groups. I have brights, I have muted and browns. I got some pastels over here on the side and I got four specials. There are two neons and two metallics. I picked a different paper than I did to for my test. This is a an inexpensive hot press-ish watercolor paper um, that I use for various things. And I have decided to to group them up like I have because didn't I turn off my there? Autofocus is off. I I found it easier to to deal with them if they were grouped like this instead of having to try and figure out what order to put them in. So there's two bright yellows. I used this in my test where I did my um, fire salamander, and I found out. In my, my review, I mentioned that the backs, the pens in the back of the box was kind of sitting low, so when you looked at it from the front, you couldn't see them. Turns out there's this insert that holds two rows of pens, that, and then it has kind of a false bottom in there, so they are raised. And what I'm going to do when I put them back is I'm going to put that all the way in the back, and so I have to, will have two rows pens in the front that is low and then two rows in the back that are high it's gonna be a mess when I put them back in but I'll try anyways so, just put it over to one side so there's a couple of nice warm yellows I've been doodling her a little with them uh, to find out the colors and stuff, so, and they are just all fantastic. I'm not surprised. I'm, in general, happy with Stadler. They have a few new products out that I would like to try, but I can't really justify the expense at the moment, considering I got more products that I really use on a daily basis so I need to use up some stuff that's a nice red purple I only bought these because they were on that like super super sale I'm not ever gonna see them at that price again Nice reddish purples. Correct pink there. Violet, reddish violet. There are some of the colors where we could maybe discuss and argue if they should have been in one pile or the other, but this is just my quick visual. Those two are quite close actually. This should probably have been over in the muted pile, but hey. It ended up where it did. Blue. The muted are not very muted, so it can be a little tricky to tell one from the other. 
going from purple-ish blues into more greenish blues, I hope. Yeah. Turquoisey blue. I hope that these will take off and become popular because the Stedless fine liners have became wildly popular and all of a sudden they started selling them open stock and with color names and stuff. They haven't still not printed the color names on the The pack uh, on the pens, but there's a color code on there, and if you go and try and buy them open stock, you get a color name. Uh, so, so that's super nice. But I think this is they, they're testing the market out with these before they they do that for those. So, some nice bright greens. They're not like super in your face green but they are really really nice I could well see myself use this for a kind of a nature drawing project without a hitch so as far as the putting in the box has I use a broad nib for this And they don't streak very much in this paper. That's my pit pen that I used to write with. And as there are no bright um, browns, the the bright section stops with the primaries and the secondaries. box over here is making a fuss. Come on. There we go. Not super ideal to have them stacked that way. Muted and browns, and I'll pause the camera while I try to sort them out a little bit. Be right back. So I can't possibly fit them all up there, but there's too many. So I'll start with. There is really no yellows as such in this group, but I'm gonna start with the the oranges and yellowish browns. So here's a kind of a tan color. peachy color here. And that's kind of how these colors go. This one is really close to the other. But I saw before that they dry up slightly different. So they the difference between them might show when they're dry. They did with the yellows at least. Uh, kind of a burned orange. Two seconds. You guys just behave. nice and 
as we go on, you could argue that some of the Browns could have fitted into a different category, and that's true, but it's, I just have to make some, some choices here and there. So, and last golden brown here. Next up will be the reds, but I need to sort my desk out again, so another break. So this was the order I settled on. I'm starting with kind of the orangey corally reds here, or tan, or skin tone, peachy, whatever you prefer. Come in different shades so you can shadow one with the other. And as we go, they go more and more over into lilacs. But they're all kind of muted reds, these, in different ways. So here's kind of a mid mid red. That is a little muted. It's not super bright. It's kind of blood red, if you like. Oh. That's set up with that box over there. It's not ideal, but and I picked this one because that kind of. Goes in. It was a slightly bit more blue than that one, so I put that in there as a transition color to the bluish lilacs. A little more violet. The green that is acting up in this box here. I have to, I think, move it up on there. Maybe I have to reach in over my filming area, but I'm tired of them kind of wobbling around over there. Light dusky violet type, pinkish. Seriously. There. And the kind of plum purple there. And a kind of a real lilac color there. And the same here, just a darker shade. Some of these muted colors is typically colors you only see in larger sets of any kind of or markers, pens, and paints. Um, I guess the reason is that you can basically mix them from the brights. You will usually get the brights in the, the most basic sets. And then as you progress into more and more colors, you get more and more of these uh, browns and muted colors. Because if they gave you these, you couldn't do anything bright with them. That's, uh, but they are my favorites. I prefer, I don't mind the brights. I mean, they serve a purpose in, in the world. But um, the muted colors are the ones I like the best. So these are the reddish browns I, I found. And yeah, I could have moved that one down here. But hey, 
I, I, when I was washing them out, I, that one looked more golden than reddish to me. And it's kind of a subjective choice. Oh yeah, <laughs> this one is something wrong with The broad tip doesn't work. There's for some reason no ink flow here, so that's a pristine nip. So I have to use the, the fine end of this. It's also okay. It's like a dark sepia kind of color. I got similar colors in, in Ecoline or something if, if I need that type of so next up are the blues and I'll just arrange them while I take a little break here so there's only five blues so we can get those over with pretty fit quickly this is the most reddish blue there is and, um, I didn't find any browns that I thought looked bluish I think they all ended up being deemed greenish to be honest so we get through the blues fairly fast oh. look at this kind of muted turquoise nummy nummy kind of calls for a an ocean type painting let's roll it here Quite nice. Those two blues look very much the same, but if you paint them up close to each other, you can tell the difference. That one is that one's a bit more reddish, and that is a little more more greenish. Um, and up comes the greens and the greenish browns and I'll sort them out so guess what break again and I decided on a row here so let's continue this is kind of a turquoisey green would go well with those bluish turquoises over there Kind of a mid-muted green, leaning a little more to blue than yellow. Here we go, kind of into the olive greens that are yellowish. Very, very nice palette on this. And now moving more into the yellowish colors and the, the golden browns. Yeah. Greenish golden brown that is. That's kind of a grayish green pale uh, brownish green type of thing. It's not a color I've seen very often in uh, in pens and markers. Then we're out in some expensive markers, at least some expensive alcohol markers. This one is kind of mustardy. There's a couple of umbery, green umberish kind of colors here. So we are nearing the end. I'm gonna do the greys, the pastels, and the specials. So I'm gonna line those up because there's no more than they can all fit here on top of my paper. Two seconds. So here goes greys. There's only two really, and they both seem to me to be kind of cold greys. This is a kind of bluish. 
Oh, it's okay. And the black is black, so oops, oops, wrong end. There we go. Over and done with those quickly. The pastels is kind of funny. There's not really a yellow pastel, even though it's indicated on the box that there should be one, but I have no idea which one that would be. It looks nothing like this. This is the closest thing to a yellow, and it is kind of a, a gray tan color. And there's a pink. There's also not really any oranges in the in here in the pastels. Pale lilac. Pale blue. Kind of an aquamarineish type of blue. Darker version of the same. Ah, I guess I'll swatch those two around. And a pale, pale mint green. Don't see that in marker pens very often. And a slightly darker version of the same. green so there's three shades of that and then there's a yellow neon super bright might not look so bright on the camera but trust me it is neon and the same with the pink it is really quite bright it's like what do you call them? The, the text marker colors. And I tried the these two on the comes on XL Media mixed media paper and they didn't look very metallic there. And they still don't. But it's a very interesting color uh, in itself. It's like a greenish grey. Both as I mentioned. So that should be silver and this should be gold, but I think they're not really but I don't mind because they go well into things I would I would probably use them more not being metallics than I would if they were so that's the swatch I should probably just leave it here and zoom in a bit see if I can fit everything in here there was the brights up here uh, all those muted and browns in there. Grays, pastels, neon, and metallic. And um, yeah, now my box looks like this. <coughs> and I like this better than before when there was one, one low down behind here where I couldn't see it. Now I could fit it on my desk. But I'll probably find some, a little bit of plastic or cardboard to, to put in here, especially between the two low rows. Up here they have a, a, a separation a piece of plastic in between the two rows here. Uh, but they don't add these colors here in the front. So every time I take one out, there, one of the ones behind will fall in and that could be annoying so thank you for watching i hope this was helpful and uh, i'll come back with other projects i'm full of ideas right now so i might actually get something done for my channel thank you please like and subscribe and take care bye